Hey there, Big Pat Ryan, and I'm going to share some more of my Epic Mail Day from last week. I've done a couple of videos now on it. This was one of my favorite pickups. It's one of those risks that you take. I saw, I think it is, let me see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 autographed cards. There was a Matitude Undertaker that I threw away because it looked like it had been stomped on and flushed down a toilet. And there was this card in there. Christy Hemi, which uh, I'm going to have to need to get autographed since she's uh, backstage with Impact. I should be able to make that happen sometime in the near future. But let me show you what I got in this lot. Now, none of these autographs have COAs, but there's a whole bunch of them that I've owned a few times on cards and other items. So I'm pretty confident if I send them away or when they send them away, they'll become authenticated. They'll get authenticated. So let's start with the first one. Honky Tonk Man. Very nice. Love it. Love Honky Tonk Man's autograph. I've had it on a few different cards. And here's another. Let me move it over here so you can see. Try to keep the glare away. These are both the uh, 1987, I think, correct? Uh, probably tops, since I got them from the U.S. Now, the only authenticated one is somebody that I don't even really remember from TNA. It's the 2004 series, Goldilocks. Her autograph is very hard to see on there, but this one does say authentic autograph. Now we get to Michael Shane on card. Very nice. Not a guaranteed authentic, but pretty sure with everything else in here that it is. And then we got, I'm going to put them together. America's Most Wanted. Let me move my hand now. James Storm and Chris Harris. Wildcat Chris Harris. I mean... If any of you watching this have these autographs, and if you think these are fake, let me know. But uh, they're not. Angelina Love, seen this many, many times. Beautiful, great. I love autographs that have they have something in them, like the heart or some other little character, or they're just nice and clear to read, like Dixie Carter, for instance. Now, I'm not a an expert on Dixie Carter autographs. I've never seen one before. I have to look them up. But uh, again, with the rest of these, I'm pretty sure it's real. Now this one, I got to tilt to get the right angle. With the, the pen has worn off a lot. Very hard to see. I don't even know if I can get it on here. Let me, nope. Okay, well, there's two of them. That one's going to be hard to see. I don't think I'd grade it just because you can't see it. But this one is version one Matt Hardy. They both have the version one on it. And I've had this autograph multiple times. And last but not least... This is the coolest one to me. Lita. XXV, is that what that says? I'm not really sure, but then it says first signed. So was did she sign a whole bunch of cards at some event? And this is the first one that she signed? If anybody else has any cards that look like this that are autographed from Lita, let me know. Give me some background. This is a WWE card. Um, I'm not even sure what set it's from. It says in-ring action. But, uh, yeah, and I got that off to eBay, and I paid $18 for the entire lot. Absolutely fantastic way to increase my autograph collection, and I will get some of these auto authenticated for sure. And don't forget to hit like down below, as well as subscribe if you have not. And please share this on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you can. Let's help grow the wrestling card community. We want to get more and more people into collecting wrestling cards because there's a lot of cool cards out there. All right, this is Big Pat Ryan. Take it easy, and uh, we'll see you soon.